Hello fellow pipe smokers, Sean Ferris, StorytellersPipe.com. This week's review we're going to do is Peter Stockaby's Luxury Twist Flake. Uh, a little bit different uh, for guys who are used to standard shag cut, ribbon cut, or coarse cut type blends where the tobacco leaves it loose. Uh, it's easy for them to pack a pipe. So this one takes a little bit of a learning curve if you've never had a flake. This is what these look like. Wafer thin. The tin note on this is sweet hay, stewed fruit. Might be a little bit of a topping. There's some debate on that. I consider this to be a uh, straight Virginia. I know other people will say that it's got some sort of topping. I think a lot of what you taste is uh, because the tobaccos are grown, their Virginia is grown in eastern U.S. and in Zimbabwe, Africa. So I think having different climates, different regions of the world imparts a little bit different flavor that we're typically not accustomed to in a natural tobacco. So I think that's where that comes from. Uh, don't have any kind of proof 100% one way or the other but that's my thoughts on it. Uh, the cool thing about flakes is you can fold them to smoke them. You can just fold them up in a little wad, stuff them in the pipe. You can cube cut them, uh, just chop them up real fine, just kind of drizzle them in. Or you can do what I do, uh, what I get my best smoke from, is to kind of roll it into a meatball, ball in my hand, really grind on it and then just kind of rub it out slow and let it fall on the plate. Uh, that's what I do with all my flakes uh, because that's what gives me the best smoke. So uh, the, the smoke itself is what I consider to be a fairly mild Virginia. Uh, you get that hay, a little bit of citrus, a um, little bit of stewed fruit, it's a fairly mild tobacco for me. Uh, I tend to be more of a Oriental Latakia, uh, European aromatic smoker. Uh, so for me, a lot of the Virginias don't have what I'm looking for as a regular smoke. I like having the Luxury Twist Flake in the arsenal. I also keep some Bullseye and some Navy, which are the big three for Peter Stockaby. Uh, those are the, the three bulk flakes that they are probably best known for out of all their blends, I think. They have some other good ribbon cuts, but they're really known for the, the bulk flake. Price-wise, you can't beat it for what you're getting. It uh, gives you uh, the ability to buy a lot of tobacco for an affordable rate uh, versus tens, which is always a nice thing to have. Uh, it ages very well. Uh, just to show you, I've got one of my mason jars. This has been in the jar for about a year. I don't know how well you can see it. it may not really show up very well because the lighting is uh, kind of off here in the uh, outdoor studio today. Um, slightly darker in the jar from being aged for a year. Virginia's really shine in that three to seven year mark anything after that they tend to hold uh, what they've got but up to that point between three and seven years is for a lot of them considered premium I know Cordell and Deal has a few that they say should be 10 to 15 years um, so it just depends on uh, where it's grown and what type of leaf it is out of the Virginia family uh, but age definitely does nice things for Virginia. Mellows them out, sweetens them up, makes them a little bit more well-rounded. I prefer aged over fresh myself. Uh, I tend to get more flavor out of them as they darken and ripen. Uh, when they get the little crystals, it gives me a little bit sweeter smoke, so I prefer them aged. And that's uh, just personal preference stuff you got to play with. So with that said, uh, Give me a shout in the comments. Let me know what you think of the review so far. Feedback's been great. I appreciate the support. Uh, the, we appreciate your support with the store at storytellerspipe.com. 
and I will be at you next week with another new blend. Happy piping.